Hmm. Is this working? Let me see. Okay. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Mr. Sunito, just checking up on, you know, all the equipment I've got here over at, uh, I don't know what we're going to call this place, Casa Carl. Uh, but today I've got a book for you. And this book is called Tiger in My Soup. Can you imagine having a tiger in your soup? Well, I have a book about it. So why don't I switch cameras and I can tell you all about it. You ready? Let's do this. Tiger in My Soup by Kashmira Chef and illustrated by Jeffrey Avella. Now, this is a book where the character, the main character, this boy right here, has a lot of imagination. Take a look at the illustration on the cover. What do you notice? Do you think, boys and girls, there is really going to be a tiger in this boy's soup? Hmm. Well, let's read to see what the boy imagines. Tiger in my soup. Now here's our title page. Tiger in my soup, written by Kashmira Chef and illustrated by Jeffrey Avella. Now there's something interesting I noticed. Do you notice the book? over here? Hmm, I wonder what that has to do with the story. Today, my big sister is in charge of the house, the lunch, and me. Oh boy. Uh, house? That's got to be our narrator, the boy. Oh, that's got to be the book he's reading from the other page. So who's that going to be, boys and girls? I hold up my book. Will you read to me? I ask. Not now, she says. Hmm. Look at the sister's face, boys and girls. Does it look like she wants to read to him? Hmm. I look at the pictures by myself, downside up and upside down. Front to back and back to front, with my eyes open and with my eyes closed. But it's no fun doing it by myself. Will you read my book to me? I ask again. It's about tigers. Big, hungry tigers. My sister doesn't answer. I try something else. I'm hungry. This time she hears me. <laughs> My sister gives me a bowl of soup for lunch. Be careful, she says. It's hot. While the soup cools, will you read to me? I beg. Later, she says. Boys and girls, what are you thinking about how the boy's sister is acting? What do you think about how the boy is acting? Hmm. I stir my soup. Something steamy puffs up. A tiger! There's a tiger in my soup. Boys and girls, are you wondering why the boy is imagining a tiger in his soup? 
Well, what was he looking at before lunch? Mmm. I drop my spoon. I glance over at my sister. Help! <sighs> my sister grumbles. She hands me a clean spoon. The tiger looks really, really mad. Look at that tiger, boys and girls. Yikes. Yikes on bikes. Ooh. Take a look at this. Wow. I have to protect myself. I stab at him with my spoon. Some tiger spit lands on my face. Uh-oh. This means war. Uh-oh. And while the boy is having his adventure with the tiger, boys and girls, what's his sister doing? Hmm. I launch a missile at the tiger. So that means he throws something up to the tiger. I'm not sure if that's a cracker or what that is. But the boy says, right on target. So it gets to the tiger. But then he says, where did he go? My sister looks up from her book. Why do you let your soup get cold? She asks. Here, I'll warm it up. Look out for the tiger! It's too late. The tiger's muffled roar rumbles from inside the microwave. Ugh. The boy hears the tiger. What do you think he is actually hearing, though, boys and girls? Hide! I yell. It's a big, hungry tiger! Okay, my sister sighs. <sighs> Where's your book? I hand it to her, and she begins to read. So here's the book, and this is what she says. In the hot, steamy jungle, there was a loud roar. And the boy says, no, no, I say, you have to roar like a tiger. <laughs> Boys and girls, he really uses his imagination, doesn't he? I eat my soup and keep one eye on my sister. I wonder where the tiger will show up next. Did you enjoy that one? I hope so. Listen, why don't you go get your writer's notebook, a pencil, some crayons, and let's come back and do a little bit of writing, okay? I'll see you in a moment. Do you have your materials, boys and girls? Okay, let's get started. At the top of the page, let's write the title of the book. We've got it right here. Tiger in my soup. Go ahead and write your first name and your last name, just like a second grader would. And after you've got that, 
Let me tell you what we're going to do today. Do you remember in the book, the boy was reading a book about a tiger? Do you remember that part? And at the very end, how his sister started to read the book. Well, wouldn't it be fun if we wrote a story about a tiger? Let me give you a little bit of help. Let's see if I can help you out with this. I'm gonna put that right there. And you can use this if you want. Here's how we can get started. It says, in the hot, steamy jungle, there was a loud roar. I saw a tiger jump out at me. Boys and girls, what happened next? I want to see if you can write two or three sentences after you write this. Tell me what happened next. Did the tiger chase you? Did you chase the tiger? Did you ride the tiger? Did you invite the tiger over for lunch? Did you and the tiger go for a walk? Did the tiger start talking? Whatever it is you want. Have fun with this and write a fun story about a tiger who jumps out after you. You can add a little picture like I've got at the bottom of the page of you and your tiger and then send me a copy in Class Dojo. I hope you have a lot of fun with your writing. I can't wait to read them all. Send them to me and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day, boys and girls.